So is it just me or does it feel like everybody wants to be a content creator these days? And honestly, I mean, I can't really blame them. I was in that exact same position when I started and here we are. The reason people want to be a creator is because there's a lot of benefits. You can make easy money online. You get to really be passionate about your day to day. You can talk to people that are interested in the same things as you. And that's something that unfortunately we don't get in our nine to fives most often. However, one thing that I've noticed over the past 12 to 18 months that I've been all in on content is that there are a few things that are different between the people who are actually doing it and the people that want to. And this may shock you. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, well, yeah, Kamaria, a lot of those influencers, they've got tons of money. They've been doing this forever. They've got equipment that I don't have. They've got the access that I don't have. Or maybe you're even thinking they just simply were blessed and they have what it takes and I don't. If you're thinking all of those things, I don't want you to beat yourself up, but I do have to tell you that that is a limiting belief and it's all false. Those are some characteristics that some of these creators have, but that is not why they're there and you're not. The reason that they are where they are and you are not is because they have confidence. And when I say confidence, I'm not just saying that, oh my God, I'm confident in my looks and I love everything about myself. No, the confidence that you can do this too. I know it may sound cliche, but I promise it is so important. If you are going to get started with this journey, you've got to be confident enough to say, I don't care how goofy, silly, or cringe it may feel to pull this camera out and talk or pull my vlog camera out in a crowd of people or to talk to myself in a room and there's nobody else here and pretend that somebody's on the other side when I have zero subscribers, I'm going to start. You have to be so confident that where you are today is not where you're going to remain. You're going to get better every time you pick that camera up. You're going to get better every time you try to sell your offer. You're going to get better every time you launch a new product. That is the confidence I'm referring to. Yes, it's nice to be confident in your looks and your body and your hair, your face, whatever. But to have the confidence to show up online, to make yourself available to the world, you're available to new criticism, you're available to all types of comments and opinions. It is a little scary. I will say that, but it is so rewarding if this is something that you truly want. When I first started, I didn't have this camera that I'm filming on. I didn't have the light that's hovering over my head. Didn't have this mic. I had the iPhone that was out at the time and a tripod. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't have a niche. I didn't know how to find a niche. I didn't care. All I knew is that if I didn't start today, when would I ever start? And so if you lack that confidence, I hope this video is a reminder to you that you got to start messy. Nobody cares as much as you think they do and nobody's as hard on you as you are on yourself. Some of the videos that I have that went viral on my Instagram, I look back at those now and I'm like, oh my God, who is that girl? I don't even recognize her because I'm grown and I've evolved and I've learned so much more about content creation and I wouldn't do it totally different. But that was a part of my story and my journey. It got me to where I am now. And I'm, again, not trying to sound cliche, but this is just the facts. The people that you are admiring, they believe that they have something to say and that people want to hear them. Think about it. I'm pretty sure you at least have two or three solid friends in your group. Nine times out of 10, these friends are like your small circle because you just don't have the time to be going out and about making new friends. You're not interested in new friends. But if you truly believe that only those three people out of billions of people in the world care about what you have to say, that is a limiting belief I want you to throw away today in this second, in this instant. If you think there's not a single person who would want to hear what you have to say, even if you don't have anything to say and you have something to show, you have something to share. There are people who make content and all you see is their hands and their masterpiece, whether that be art, whether that be um, putting together a mocktail, whether that be assembling jewelry. I don't know what their face looks like, but they've have, they have value. There's somebody who wants that jewelry. There's somebody who wants to learn how to make the bracelet. There's somebody who's interested in knowing the recipe to the mocktail who's been sober for five years. If you think no one's interested in your story and what you have to put out and your creativity, that is a limiting belief that will hold you back from so much more than just content. It'll hold you back from opportunities in life. So if you know this is something that you want, if you know you're always wondering why not me, make it you. It really ain't that hard. Pick one platform and go all in. Having all the platforms can be overwhelming. Pick one. What's your favorite? What are you on the most? You probably are a genius at that platform. Start using it to bring in some passive income and to build a community that adores you. So if you scroll on TikTok three hours a day, guess what, girl? Go all in on TikTok. If you're always on Instagram, go all in on Instagram. You know how to use Instagram. 
It's going to be scary. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to feel weird. You're going to feel underqualified. Who cares? Who cares? Post the content. Let me tell you what happened when I stopped caring. When I just went all in. When I was acting Delulu. I had my first 10K month. I had my first 2K day. Literally yesterday, at the time of recording this, I made $1,000 and it was 9.48 in the morning and I was washing dishes. This has changed my life. What I do now, I mean, it doesn't amount to the fulfillment I felt graduating college, graduating with my master's, getting the first big girl job. Like, I didn't think that anything could feel more fulfilling than that. But to put myself out there and to know that people all over the world are following me, are engaging with me, are in my programs, are learning from me, are asking me questions. That's a feeling I can't describe and that can be you too. In whatever it is that you are interested in. 2024 is a new year. It's the year of eight. I heard that eight means abundance and prosperity. I'm not a number girly. I'm just going off of what I keep seeing all on Instagram. So don't quote me there. But hey, I want to believe that. I like it. If it ain't true, I'm going to go with it, though. So let's be abundant. Let's prosper in this new year. And it may not be content for you. It may be something else, but you know what that thing is that you're afraid to take a leap of faith on. Let this be a reminder that if not now, when? And if not you, then who? Nobody can do it like you. I'm so glad I did what I did. I'm so glad that I love who I am. I'm so glad that I show up authentically and genuinely to my community. They love it. Everybody doesn't love me, but I don't want everyone to love me. I'm for the people that are for me. And I want you to be for the people that are for you. They just don't even know you exist. So comment 2024 if you are going to go all in on whatever that scary thing is. If you know it's content, if you know it's a business, if you know it's a course, if you know it's a new job, if you know it's a whatever it is. Comment 2024 so that I know that you're going to take that leap of faith. And you're going to take it soon. We're not going to sit up twiddling our thumbs. We're not going to try to wait for it to be perfect. And don't you dare try to wait until you know everything because you never will. Embrace being a lifelong learner and take that leap. Comment 2024, lovely. I'm Kamaria. I am your favorite content marketing coach and digital marketing passive income girly. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.